Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and I'm here in beautiful Atlantic City staying today at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Gonna join a uh, slot pole tournament. That's gonna be a separate video, but I'm staying in the North Tower. Thought I'd give you guys a view of that room. So come on up with me, I'll show you what it looks like. Alrighty, take a quick look down the hallway there. That's the South Tower Elevator Lobby. And if we turn around here, we're going to start heading towards the North Tower Elevator Lobby. Really not as far as people say. Some people say it's a really long walk. It's not. True, the South Tower Elevators are closer to the casino and the restaurants and shopping and stuff like that. But North Tower, if you like the rooms there better, it's really worth just, you know, just a couple more steps. Hey, good looking blue eyes, do be do be do. Lots of people come up to me and say, Hey, Jeff from New York, what do you like better at the Hard Rock in Atlantic City, the North Tower or the South Tower? And I gotta tell you guys, I kinda like the North Tower just a little bit more. It's got floor to ceiling windows, which is a big plus as far as views concerned. It's got really cool corner rooms if you can nab one of those. The uh, South Tower is a little bit older. It does have a sofa, so if a sofa is important to you, I don't know why it would be, but if it is, well, then you'd want the South Tower. I also think the bathrooms in the North Tower are a little bit larger and a little bit more modern. As soon as you walk in, you have this full-length mirror where you can make yourself super handsome, or in my case, just do the best with what you got. For the record, this is a King non-smoking North Tower non-corner room. That's right, it's 9.07 p.m. I checked in really late, but I was really fashionably late. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the New York channel, then why not subscribe to it if you haven't done so already? And if you're enjoying this video in particular, give it a thumbs up. It does help my algorithms out here on the New York channel, and more people will see the video if you do so. So thanks a lot. I do appreciate your support, guys. The beds here at the Hard Rock are firm. I do like a firm mattress. They're not as firm as the Resorts Hotel and Casino right next door, but they're firm nonetheless. If you like a nice, soft, squishy mattress, well, these aren't the mattresses for you. I couldn't help notice the usual embroidered guitars on the pillowcases are missing on my bed. I wonder what happened. Hard Rock's been very generous with their comps lately. I just got back from Las Vegas where they comped me several nights at their property on the Las Vegas Strip, the Mirage, and I do appreciate that. And they also invited me in June to check out their property, their hotel and casino in uh, Hollywood, Florida. The only Hard Rock currently with a guitar-shaped tower. Uh, they're building that at the Mirage in the next several years, but this is the only one they have right now. They invited me down in June. I'm going to check it out and bring you guys along with me. If I get the opportunity, I'll do some videos in the Miami Beach area as well. It's just a little bit further south than Hollywood, which is basically Fort Lauderdale.
shortage of outlets in the room, especially at the uh, work desk here and uh, both sides of the bed. Hard Rock does have room service. It seems like lots of hotels are discontinuing that uh, little perk. And as you can see, there's a in-room coffee maker as well. Whether you're in a North Tower room like this one or the South Tower, there's plenty of storage in any of these rooms. If you're planning a trip to Atlantic City or Las Vegas or any of the other places that I visit here on the New York Channel or maybe even a cruise, make sure you check out the playlists here on the New York Channel. They'll help you out with uh, places to go, things to see, attractions, restaurants, shopping, you name it. Those playlists will help you plan your vacation. As I said earlier, I think the North Tower has uh, nicer bathrooms, that's just my personal opinion. Two sinks here, uh, there's a stand-up walk-in shower, there's also a, a separate vanity for uh, fixing yourself up, I guess. There's a separate water closet, very nice bathroom, nicely appointed.
As we head into the summer season, you're going to find a lot more room tours, lots more hotels and casino tours here on the New York Channel. Not just Atlantic City, but Las Vegas and other places as well. If you'd like to support the New York Channel, then just click on that thanks button right underneath the video you're watching right now. Doing so will help support the channel, and you'll also get a shout out on an upcoming video. Thanks for your support, guys. And now I'll show you this particular room's view, not only right now at night, but tomorrow morning when I wake up as well. By the way, I don't know if you've heard, but on April Fool's Day, April 1st, there were rumors that the giant ball on top of the Ocean Hotel and Casino actually rolled off the building and crashed to the ground. I assure you that ball hasn't moved in decades. <laughs> 